So tension sometimes gets blamed for a lot of things on a sewing machine. So on the Singer Fashion Mate 3342, I want to walk you through a few things to help you understand tension. So our tension dial is right here. When you have the same weight of thread in your needle as you do in your bobbin, a straight stitch, you should be just fine at leaving it at four. Now, if you're getting anything that just looks like awful stitching on the back, it's probably not tension. And guaranteed, it's actually not tension. It's usually how you threaded the machine, you missed an area, you didn't get in the tension disc at all, or maybe your bobbin's not in all the way. Maybe you need a new needle. How about cleaning your machine? When was the last time you cleaned it? So don't be blaming tension on your sewing problems. Unfortunately, it's probably an operator error. So let me tell you how I use tension and how you should think about it. So first off, when we're talking about our stitching, if you have the same look of stitches on the front as you do on the back, you're balanced. Now, when we adjust the tension at the top, the only thing we're adjusting is this top thread. So if you were to make it tighter, you are going to then pull the bobbin thread to the top of your fabric. If you made it looser or smaller number, then the bobbin thread is tighter and it's gonna pull more to the back side. So for example, when we were doing our applique stitch, now this is gonna be the same color on the front as it is on the back. On the applique stitch, I actually loosened my tension because I wanted the threads to pull to the back side and look how pretty of a stitch it left me. Now, if you look really close, you'll notice that the connection of the upper thread and the lower thread is on the back side. And that's where you're gonna see some roughness. But because it's all about the front, this is more what you're going for. On decorative stitches, where we have used a different thread in our needle than we do on our bobbin, we do see that the bobbin thread has pulled the decorative thread to the back side. And that is what you want. You want the stitches, we don't need any extra pink thread showing where that blue thread is. We want it to only look blue. So if you're seeing any of your bobbin thread coming up to the top, that would be a time to loosen your tension. Now, when we talk about changing our tension, keep in mind, you'll usually see me change it a whole number. So if we're going for a looser tension, I'll change it from four to three or even to two and a half. Give it a go. Now, if you really can't remember which way to change it from when you're sewing, you can actually change it one way and it will either get better or worse. And if it gets worse, you just know that you're supposed to go the opposite way. And I have one more example of what to do here. So I've picked a really wide zigzag and I have two colors of thread in the machine. And tell you the truth, the top thread and bobbin thread are slightly different weights because they are completely different brands of thread. So when I flip it over, I practically see way too much. If I wanted the zigzag to look as good on the back as I did on the front, I'm seeing way too much of that top thread being pulled back here. So at this point, what I want to do is tighten the top tension to kind of bring it and more level out to the very edge so it's not so um, pulled to the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and take it up to, let's say, five and a half, and I'm going to stitch an identical stitch right next to where I was. So it is looking better, but I bet I can make it even more perfect by tightening it up even further. So why am I having to go so far up to the higher numbers? It really doesn't matter what the number is as long as everything balances. Remember I said I have two different weights of thread in my machine? I'm gonna have to do something to help it out. So let's just see, as I'm almost up to eight, if I'm getting the results I'm looking for. So here's the last one I sewed. And look how pretty it is. That's what we're talking about. So if we compare the, the last one to the first one, you can see the difference. Now I'm okay with a little bit coming to the back side, and I could probably turn it a little higher and totally eliminate that. But I will tell you, when we do free motion quilting, this is usually what you need to do is tighten up the top tension to give you the look that is balanced. Because on the front of a quilt and the back of the quilt, you want it to look really good. So remember, if you can't remember which way to turn your tension, you have a 50-50 shot of getting it right.